Yo guys, it's Chris here, and welcome to 7 Days of Horizon. Now, this is a new series that I'm going to be doing, kind of like the 7 Days of Christmas, actually, where I'm basically going to be counting down the days left, and by doing that, having something special as a video. So today's video are 7 cars that we are going to miss in Horizon 4, since it's 7 days away. Tomorrow, it will be something that involves 6, uh, 6 days left, so... Uh, I already know them all, I'm not going to tell you though, but uh, we're going to go ahead and start it off here. Uh, in no order, number one has to be the Toyota Supra, uh, the 2JZ engine, the whole drifting, everything. You get a thousand horsepower 2J, and I mean it was really big in the drift community, and really it's just a car that everybody likes in general. It doesn't matter if you're from the drift community uh, or not. It's just a really good car. The next car is the Evo. Um, and this one really, it had it had a few things that made it good, a few things that made it unique and such. Uh, I was never huge on this car. I didn't like making builds for it though because it's very unique. Uh, so something that other people are gonna miss more than I do. Next up is the GT86. Now luckily, uh, the only one left, we don't have the FRS, we don't have the GT86, but we still have the BRZ until that gets taken away, probably. Uh, unfortunately, I did like the 86 better than the BRZ. I don't know why, it's just, I think I just like the Toyota there more than the Subaru. And for some reason, I was better with the GT86. Like I said, I don't know why, uh, but yeah. Next thing is the Lexus SC300. Uh, this was a car not a whole lot of people use. I used a lot of it though. Um, it was more of a that like you could just put the 1J or the 2J in it and it would just be like a really fun car. You can just put like 600 horsepower, it'd be a really good drift car. A lot of things you can do with it, which made it nice. Uh, number Next one, another Lexus is the Lexus LFA. Not a lot of people use this one as well. It was a very underrated supercar. It handled like no other supercar, which is the reason I liked it. Uh, but now, of course, we don't get to see it in Horizon 4. It is a shame. Uh, if you do have Horizon 3, just buy this car because it's really, really good. RCF. Uh, Black Panther's car. Actually, not, yeah, Black Panther's car. I almost said Black Panther. Same thing, Black Panther. It's the huge wing. That's what really did it. Or the wang. That's what really did it. Uh, for us in Horizon 3. Fortunately, we don't get to see that in Horizon 4, but I could have used a good uh, a Wang every now and then, but yeah, I mean, let's get over it. Last one here is the Toyota AE86. I never used this. I never even bought it. I'm not a Hansu Drifto guy or whatever. Uh, I never watched that initial D or anything, uh, but I know a lot of people do like and care for this car, and uh, it is it is sad to see it go. Um, unfortunately, the whole Lexus, Mitsubishi, and Toyota thing had to happen. So that's the end of this video, guys. Seven days until Forza Horizon 4 is out. I'll see you tomorrow with the video revolving around six days.